Oh, okay. <laughs> well done, Andrew. I'm Debbie Zurich, the Secretary for the Working Columbus Spaniel Society. We're here today with members that have come from across the country to show you their dogs. We have dogs of different levels. These, some of the dogs you'll see today are dogs that are just used in the shooting field and out rough shooting, and other dogs have been used in competition and field trials. If I could just start off with Barbara Brown, Jim Winters, and David Chilvers with their dogs, first of all. If you could just walk them up to heel, please, up towards the straw veils. Off the lead, preferably. No? Okay. We have a young dog here on the left. As you can, as you can see, we're only going to do a little bit with each dog because of the heat. So if we can get them onto the straw veils and ask them to sit, blow the stop whistle. Lovely. I think probably, because I'm looking at the sun, I think we'll have the handlers facing the other way. That's better. Because otherwise, the dogs are facing into the sun. And I have to say, it's definitely warmer in the middle of this ring. They're quite right. So, if we could just throw... Hang on a minute. We'll just have them sitting there nicely. Go back towards your dog, please reinstate the stop whistle and then throw your dummy behind the straw bale. A man that can throw. Not a man that can throw. Barbara's taking it cautiously. She's going to throw it herself. I, I would do the same. Lovely, thank you. Right, come back in front of your dog. Just come back to about me. David, just to back you a little bit. And Jim, would you call... Is it Betsy you got with you? Could you call Betsy to you, please? Thank you, Betsy. Barbara, if you would call your dog to you. But David, leave your sitting there and send her back for her retrieve, please. Good girl. Thank you very much. If you want to uh, turn Betsy around, facing her retrieve, please. Yes, please, William. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Not for Barbara's, please. There's one on the left. Lovely, thank you very much. Up onto the straw bell. We're thinking you're having a little sit. No, we're coming back. We just want to do a jump. Thank you very much. Barbara, please send Obi. Lovely. As you can see, clumbers do have a certain pace about them. A lot of people think that clumbers are, are, are slow. I mean, they are the heavier of the spaniels. You have your lovely cockers and springers, and then you have your Welshers and Fields and Sussex, but the clumbers are definitely the heavier of the breed. That's lovely. If you could walk to heel, please. Bring the dogs back down. And I will have uh, someone that's looking relaxed. I think I'm going to have... Andy Parker here with Young Fizz. Now Young Fizz here, you can leave the straw bells there, thanks. Young Fizz is only a babe. It's one that uh, they bred from their kennels. And she's actually out of a, a field trial winning dog. So whether she's going to be fizzy in this weather today, I don't know. But Andy, just do what you can with, with Fizz. Please, when you've finished in the ring, just go and get a drink with your dogs. And there's a trough there. We've got to keep these dogs cool today. So little Fizz here, it's all about play training. The thing with a clumber is you've got to get a keen on retrieving at a young age. It's probably a bit put up with me with the tunnel at the moment. But you've got to get a keen retrieving at a young age because what clumbers want to do is hunt. So we need them to be interacting and working with you. We want, as you can see, very cuddly as well. <laughs> Let it, and let them run in. At this stage, when they're only babes, let them run in. Make it fun, make it lively, make it exciting. And you've got to be down and low, and you've got to be their best friend. More cuddles. <laughs> and we've got another, another little puppy dummy going. Oh, we've got to try two. <laughs> and there we go, we've got another one. Good girl. So there is a bit of balance and fizz still about her today. She said, hang on a minute, there's another one. No, I'm going to go and see mum. Come on, Fizz, we need you back. We need you back. You might just have to go and get her and get her attention. Because <laughs> she is only a babe, this is her first time in the ring. 
There we go. Got her attention back with a with a tennis ball. No, too much. Never mind, Fizz. I would actually relax, Fizz. That's enough pressure for Fizz. That's very good. So the person I'm going to put under a bit more pressure is my husband, John Zurich. <laughs> I can pick on him. I think there might be a tennis ball out here still somewhere. Yes, there is. I got to get that out of the way. If you come into the middle of the ring, John, and just show young Mabel. Mabel is um, a bitch that we bred. Um, if you look at these working clumpers, you will see that they have lovely tight eyes. Uh, less exaggerated. Um, they have a nice, nice shape to them. They've still got a bit of a waist. Um, and these dogs are bred to work in the field and to be fit for function. There's a tennis ball here. Oops, I've got a dummy coming towards me. Let's hope she doesn't spot mummy. Okay, and recall back to you and I'll sit onto that straw bird. Good girl. Nice, nice delivery. Nice delivery. Waggy tail, happy dog. And that's what you want. And you want a dog that actually, you know, can work all day. It has to have a certain amount of stamina. But I also, if you're out rough shooting, I actually think clumbers work at a nice, a nice pace. I've got my springers and I've got my cockers, and I love those too. But having something a little different, oh, she didn't run in, that's good, John. Having something a little different is, is nice to have in, in your um, sort of arsenal of dogs that are working in the, in the field. When I'm picking up, I do a lot of picking up on Exmoor, they're actually sweeping through, they're sweeping through at a nice pace. Just sit her down, John, because she's good, just focusing on a bit of coffee and cake over there. So sit her down so that she sees that dummy going in over that jump. There's a bit of cover there, so mind the cover. Oh, we didn't go splat right in the middle of it all. Okay, never mind. Over. Now she's going to have to bury herself in there. You're going to have to encourage her. High lost in there. I think that went right in the middle. Probably caught up in a branch, knowing John, with his throw. Go on, encourage her. Nose is down. Not much scent on a hot day like today. A good girl. Over. Over. Thank you very much. Just hunt her back down towards me. If, well, not a lot to hunt, I'm afraid. These dogs do look best when you're actually working them in the field and they're hunting a bit of bracken and cover and they bulldoze it nicely. So that would probably do you with Mabel. Just pop her on the lead, please. If I could have, um, where have we got? Who have we got over there looking very relaxed at the moment? Actually, it'd be quite nice to have young Amelia. Now, how old are you, Amelia? 11, one of our youngest handlers. So, and we have, and we have young Mel, I must stick to that, very young Mel. So if you'd like to take one end of the ring, which end would you like, Amelia? Left? Okay, Mel's going up. If you actually have the left of the straw bales and you have the right of the straw bales. So Amelia here is with Pimps, with Pimps. Pimps here is actually, um, had a litter a while ago, with some very nice pups. And Amelia is actually very keen on her country sports. She does a lot of riding, does a lot of hunting. She also goes out beating with her dad and out picking up and shooting. So young Amelia is one to watch for the future with her clumber. Mel spends a lot of time out beating and picking up with her dogs. They live in Kent. Her husband Jim does a lot of stalking. I think they've got them trained to blood trail as well. So it's nice to see these dogs doing different activities. So we've got Mel at the top here, just having a little hunt through the grass. I think Camelia's just going to do a jump. And it's on the other side of that cover, which would make it a bit easier, still having to bulldoze in there. So she's just changed sides and now over. Lovely. Little hay lost there. And a back over. And a back over. Whoops. So you can see they've got a gentle mouth. She just, just touched that on the rails and let, let go of it. I mean, at the end of the day, when you actually shot your bird, you do want it coming back in one piece so that you've got something to eat and to cook later on. That's very nice. Thank you very much, Amelia. Very good. So we're going to do a little retrieve further up. Okay, she's going to stop her. Okay, just pay attention, that's it. We need bum on the ground there, Pims. 
And she's going to call her back to her, and she should see that dummy. It's not, as I say, very dry out here. There's not actually a lot of, a lot of scent. So we're going to send her back. Okay, how's Mel doing up here? So we have Mel up here getting excited. Having a bit of dry canvas is probably not the most ideal thing in, in their mouth at the moment. Okay, Pins, we need fun on the ground again, please. Call her back to you. Where's that dummy, Amelia? Even I can't see it. Hang on a tick. Let's have a little look. Okay, where did you put it? You think I lost me? I lost, oh, there it is. It's one of those little ones. Okay, so we've got to get her nose, nose down. Okay, so she should just... Unfortunately, as I say, there's just not a lot of scent at the moment. I would actually walk her up onto it now. Walk her on up to it so she succeeds. And then I would place a dummy back here, a memory for her. Okay. Just let her have that one. Just kick it out of the way for a minute. Let her have that one. Okay, Amelia, just place the memory down here that she sees. Lovely. Now we'll just walk her away from it for a second. Okay. And I would turn her and let her have that retreat. I'm sure you won't be disappointed for the exhibition going on right now. That's better. You've just got to remember the conditions of out here today with this amount of heat and putting that bit of dry canvas in your mouth. Not exactly appealing. Okay, Matt. How are we doing at the other end there? Oh, I think we've got a poo bag. Have we? Got two poo bags out there. Never mind. Interesting markers. Yeah, just caught the dog just caught the eye of them. I think they're clean ones though, that's good. So the Working Columbus Spaniel Society was formed in 1984 by a group of like-minded people that wished to see the dogs working in the field and restore them to being out in, in, the, in the field. And I'm very pleased to say the dogs are now becoming their own ambassadors in the shooting field. So you'll see them out beating and picking up and you'll see them out um, sitting on the peg and now they're getting more involved in competition as, as well. So recently, which you'll see in a while, we've had a dog that actually won a novice, AV, against Springers and Cockers. We've had awards in AVs before. That'd be lovely, Mel. I want you picked up your bags, so thank you. When you've got that one, Amelia, that'd be nice, thank you. Okay, if I could have uh, Manny and Monk out, please. I think you might, uh, would like Bruce as a dummy thrower as well? Mark, you're staying down on the left hand side, are you? Ah, you, who do you want to Bruce with you? Did you? Okay, fine. That's okay. As long as your boys are sorted, thank you very much, Mel. Thank you very much, Amelia. That was very good. So we have um, uh, still quite young dogs, actually. And these dogs, hopefully, we will see um, out in competition this year, and we hopefully will see out in field trials this year. Who knows? Who knows? But hopefully so. So, we have Woody, who's how old now? Two? Oh, 18 months. Yes, 18 months. We have Brock, who's uh, two. Oh, in a bit. <laughs> Um, so Mark's actually had a, a lot of luck in the past with his older dogs. Um, they've now all got several clumbers under their belt, so uh, it's quite nice. And uh, they're, they're still keen, and they still uh, keep wanting to have more clumbers, so that's really good. So you'll see that they come in lemon and white, and orange and white. Some people do say to me, are there any other colours? Do they come in lemon and white? And I do say, no, that is usually a spring. So, the nicely sit into shot. Mark that retrieved nicely. And as you can see, powerful dog going out with speed. They're not that slow, they're not that sluggish. And sometimes when they're running in a straight line, they're just racing around and not actually under control, then they're actually quite as good speed as my Springer or my Cocker. So we're gonna have another shot for Woody as he's hunting. Not much to hunt, I'm afraid, Woody. So you mark that nicely. Send him. So we've got an over, over, yep, and a little high loss there, it's around about there somewhere. Let's say, whoops, no, back. Just put the stop on him. 
always handy to see it's in control, especially when you're out in the field and you uh, sent your dog for a dead bird, but actually suddenly a runner comes down, you can stop them and swap them and get them to another bird. And over. So say once again, it's just it's very dry and arid out here. So we want him over. And want him to succeed. We can come back for that one later on. And over. Good boy. So how are we doing up here with Mark? Okay, we've got to drop to shot. Thinking about it for a minute, but there is a lot of coffees and ice creams and various other things. Oh, that's a tennis ball that just nearly went out. These chaps can go far, far further than I can. Anyway, no, we've got the tennis ball. He's got it back from under the fence. But, oh, we've got to have a little pee on the cover. Ah, that's what dogs do. That's what dogs do. Anyway, so we have Woody coming past us. I had a little look at Brock. No, don't get involved in that. Thank you. So the society actually puts on lots of different events across the country. We have, um, during the summer months, we put on a lot of training events up and down the country. We then actually host cold game tests sometimes. We have walked up training days, getting ready for competition, ready for field trials. Then we put on beating days, and we put on days where the um, chaps can actually shoot over their clumbers, and we may have people that are clumbers on the peg, clumbers in the beating line, and clumbers picking up. So we have some lovely estates that we're invited to. Sometimes we're buying days, but we try to put them across the country so all our members benefit from that. I think that'll do, Manny, that's lovely. Thank you very much for Woody, because I want to save him for a moment. He can have a little rest, because I want to put him in a race in a minute with his brother and his father. So I'm not sure. I think we may have one more I'll be doing. Oh, is that? No, no. So we'll just rest Woody now for a second. Um, if we can have Andy Parker to come in and get ready for in a minute with his two. Would be good. Lovely. So we've got Albert and Pim coming in. Okay. So once we've finished all the cuddles, the big tough Yorkshireman here, all fluffy ears, really cuddly, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> His wife would agree. Andy, if you could just come into the middle and get ready, please, that'd be lovely. So the society is actually here each morning at 11 o'clock, but we're also in the working dog ring. We have a pen in the working dog ring. So if you want to find out more about the breed and come and chat, we're very enthusiastic and come bunch and you can come and meet the dogs and find out all about the breed. We can arrange for you to come and see the dogs in the field. We can arrange for you to come and shoot over the dogs. That's lovely, Mark. Thank you. Do get the dogs nice and cool. Just take them out into the, the trough there and cool them straight down. So Andy Parker here, who uh, is up in Yorkshire, does a lot of shooting with his dogs, gets out and does a bit of rabbiting with his dogs as well, which is always good because it gets their noses down. They do look good on rabbits. So there is a lovely two, or well, brace the dogs, so he's working there. He's actually both quite young, so he's been doing a bit of practice at home but getting ready for him to be able to work them in the, the shooting season, out rough shooting. All the dogs you see here today do work in the field. All the handlers you see here today do work them either picking up or beating or they're out rough shooting or occasionally get the nice opportunity to have a bit of driven shooting. So where these guys are, they get out to the grouse more. They go out and do the grouse count with these clumbers. And Vicky is out beating. How many days are you out beating these days on the grouse moor? Three solid weeks, practically. Nearly, nearly every day, isn't it? Four days a week. Well, that gets you fit, doesn't it? And it also gets the dogs fit. But they love it. They absolutely love it. So these dogs are an all-round dog. And these dogs also look good um, if you're out woodcock shooting or snipe shooting. They just, with this large pink nose of theirs, just get their nose down. I think because they're working at a slightly more methodical pace, they just get that time to set up their nose, just works very well. So quite often I've been in a situation where the keeper has come up to me and said, there's a woodcock down there. That Springer and that Labrador has it found. You'd better send that bloody clumber in. Actually, and there it comes. And there comes out the woodcock. So they do make me proud sometimes. You just actually have to be quite patient with your 
your training. And sometimes, whoops, imaginative. We can have Bruce throw if you wish. Yes, we will have Bruce throw if we wish. Because we're not quite getting it over. I'm afraid he didn't throw it all the way over there. That's it. Lovely. So, being nice and steady, and his concentration levels are very good there. And he's also had a great deal of success trialling his dogs. He's now very enthusiastic about the breed. And uh, he will be trialling again this season. And his dreams are to be running these dogs in AVs against Springers and Cockers. Albert. Albert, here's one that we bred. <laughs> I'm afraid there's interesting scents from the dogs that are in here earlier. And you never know which bitch is just coming in a season or going out of season. Okay, so they sit. Make sure, did they see that? I don't know if they did. Okay, we've got them both bums on the ground. Who's going for that? Albert's going for that one. Oops, 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 over. Okay, now Albert's got to work that one out. It's on the left-hand side. It's actually not far from those people's feet. Luckily, they haven't got the destruction of hamburgers and ice cream, which happens. Okay. Call Pims in. Sit it down. This one's for Albert. And it's over. And it's lost on the left there. Just on the left, he wants to pull. Typical Spaniel wants to pull to the cover. Sat nicely though, taking direction nicely. He's just got to get his nose on that fence line. There we be. Lovely, good boy. He said, I'll just have a little check on that cover, make sure there's not a rabbit left in there. That's very good. Oh, now we're going to have a little pee. Never mind. If I could actually, oh, I've just seen a friend of mine, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. If I could actually have John with Boris, I would like, where is he? Where's Manny gone? I've lost a Manny. There he is, look, he's busy talking again. He's always talking. I would like a Manny with Woody. And I would like, where's my dummy throw? There's my dummy throw. I would like Albert. Does Albert need a drink or is he all right? We're only gonna do one quick race. Okay, so, just swap dogs. Bruce. Could I actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to make you walk. <laughs> Could I actually have you up the other end of the ring, please? In front of that coffee and donuts. That would be lovely. And I'll need three dummies in a moment. So, John, if you'd like to take the right hand straw belt, sit him on that. Manny, if you could take the left straw belt and sit him on that. And where we have Albert. That's lovely. And we we'll have Albert sitting here. Now, we actually we have Boris, such as Boris, the dog we bred, that's the father to Albert and the father to Woody. That would do you about there, Bruce, I'd say. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have a little race. I want to see who's the fastest. Take his lead off, please, John. I want to see who's the fastest out of father and two sons. We can place our bets, and somewhere around here, I've got Mr. Graham Tweed, who's our sponsor for Crunch Dog Food. So there'll be prizes for the fastest. So don't forget, that it'll be after you for their prizes. So if we could just fire a shot and place one dummy in front of Woody. Place one dummy. Walk along the line, Bruce. We could have another shot and a dummy in front of Albert. Lovely. Another shot and one in front of Boris. Lovely. And if Bruce, you just go to one side out the way a minute, please. Just hide yourself somewhere. Okay. I'm going to say, ready. Are you re ready for this, Mr. Zurich? You don't look very concentrating. Okay. I want you concentrating with your dog. Thank you. We've got professionals here. Okay. So, I'm going to say, ready, steady, go. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> okay, go in the back, get in the back, get in the back, get in the back. Whoa, Boris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was fun. Right, get Woody back and let's get Alba on that one. <laughs> so, it just shows you 
they actually look at the last dummy that was thrown. <laughs> but that's fine, they've all come back with it. But we can do that again tomorrow, so we can practice. But hey, the old boy wins today, <laughs> including my husband. Isn't he going to be happy, Bunny? So, Mr. Graham Tweed, prizes please for Boris. But, and actually, he has a very nice plumber too called Dexter. So, thank you very much. If you want to find out more about working plumbers, come and see us in the working dongery. At 1.15, Neil is very much putting on this interesting, exciting demo of all the different breeds in the main ring where one of our plumbers will be as well. So, come and cheer us on later on. Thank you.